show that's right the skylander superchargers weekend wrap-up show <sighs> man i was afraid there was nothing to talk about this week i was afraid there was nothing to talk about but <laughs> woke up and boom whoa got some news woke up again boom 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 boom, boom. just getting bombarded with craziness so we have a lot to talk about boys and girls so go ahead and take a seat and this is, oh, and if you didn't notice, yes, I'm changing the weekend wrap-up show from to that instead of the rambling videos because the rambling videos, I, you guys might have been confused, like, okay, which one have I seen? The 7th, 8th, 9th, which, which one is this? But if you're staying on top of it, you would have knew. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and put the wrap-up show and the date of that Saturday that these videos will be up. And I'll keep doing these until, uh, until I stop YouTube, I guess. But, um... Yeah, I figure there's always something to talk about, and definitely this week there is something to talk about. Like I said, I was afraid there wasn't, but anyways, let's go ahead and get into the news. But before I even get into the news, I have to give one shout out to, who is it? I have to give a shout out to BabyNim024HC. Um, it was, uh, they went ahead and uh, they named it for me on Instagram, this picture right here. Boom! If you don't remember who this is, it's my beaded smolder dash. And uh, I never named it, but that's kind of important if you name them because they have an option in the game to name the character, but I never did it. I never thought of a cool name. Well, they ended up giving me a cool name, and it was Fire and Ice Smolder Dash. Fire and Ice Smolder Dash. Thought that was a cool, cool name. Thank you so much for that. All right, so moving on. Thank you so much. Shout out to you guys. And uh, yeah, Fire and Ice Smolder Dash. All right. Update on the teeth real quick. Well, I went into the dentist because I faced my fears and this is what it looks like now. Boom! I'm kidding, that's not what my teeth look like now. But I will say, if you have a fear, face it, make sure you take care of it. And if you don't take care of teeth, it'll look like that, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, when I was sitting in the chair, they said two words I don't ever want to hear in my life. Uh, surgical extraction on number 19, whatever the heck the tooth that was. And I stood up and I said, what's that mean? They said, you have a cracked wisdom tooth. And I said, well, and they said, we're going to take it out. I said, no, you're not. The thing about being an adult is you can go ahead and tell them no or yes, you know. But that's not what I went there for. But anyways, the situation I went there for, I'm getting that taken care of. But uh, yeah, so, hey, cracked wisdom tooth. What are you going to do? You know, you get old, you get crusty, and things just happen. Anyways, moving on. You guys want to hear the news. I want to hear the news, Steve. What's the news? Who cares about your teeth? Who cares about your smolder dash? I want to hear about the news. We can wrap up. Here we go. All right. The news. Okay, first, I want to say I was wrong. I apologize. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. How was I wrong? I thought it was light cores when they introduced the, the characters that were in the sheets. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? I thought it was light cores. I said, this means light core because why would they have bright lights under a sheet in the dark? Even though it said the, the, uh, the saying was something about a darkness or something. I know it had dark in the comment, but... Come on, I just thought, I'm thinking outside the box. Gotta be light cores, man, that'd be so cool. Light core vehicles? Pfft, please. So anyways, what it turned out to be, as you all know now, is a dark edition, along with our Wii U edition, along with our regular edition, along with, what other editions are there right now? I did the rainbow edition, the, the, flicker, the checker flag, you know. And I just want to say, I thought that advertisement was a little misleading myself. Misleading. Because you had bright lights under a... There was nothing light... There's nothing lit about that. If you're saying the paint is lit, that's all that is? I think that advertisement was misleading. But you guys get your dark editions, and I don't like dark editions because, honestly, they remind me of the Raiders. Even though I'm from California, they remind me of every time I see silver and black. Raiders. And I'm not a huge football fan. I watch it, but I'm not a huge football So I just instantly say no. And I, and I feel like it's one of those things they just put out there because people are going to buy it just because it has Skylanders on it. And I'm saying no. I didn't buy all your traps. I didn't buy all your minis. And I'm not buying every single dark and legendary characters you guys put out just because you say they do extra damage. Well, guess what? Now you guys have Eons Elite that does three times the damage. 
three times the damage. So if I want to get the damage character, I would go Elon's Elite, but I still don't get those because those I feel are gimmicky also. Anyways, that's just my preference. Moving on, you know about the Dark Edition. It comes with a beautiful Chaos Trophy. And nobody has specified, nobody has cleared this up. People say it's only, obviously it's only available as of right now in that Dark Edition starter pack. As of right now, what's it unlock? It supposedly unlocks content for Chaos. Supposedly you could play him and his vehicle and maybe a racetrack or something like that. We really don't know. No one's really said what it actually does. But we know that you could, so it has to do with something with Chaos. We know that. So if you want to play it, you have to, as of right now, you have to buy the Dark Starter Pack. Never said it was coming out single pack. But I'm going to let you know something here in a minute. But, in case you didn't know, I'm not going to show these pictures that I'm going to talk about coming up. Just because I'm not going to show the new characters. I'm not going to show the triple packs and all that stuff. I'm not even going to show that it says... I'll get to that in a minute. But I'm not going to show these pictures just for the fact that, in case they say, they're not supposed to be out yet, even though big other YouTubers has put these pictures up. I'm not doing it just in case I'm rambling here, talking for 15 minutes, and because I show one picture, the video is taken down. What a waste of time that would be. If you're a true Skylanders fan, you've seen it. If you haven't seen it, go watch Skylander Dad. Go watch Family Gamer TV. They have all those pictures you need to see. Anyways, oh, just check out my poster update if you want to check out the, uh, the video before this one. If you want to see the actual characters all lined up in a poster and the elements. Anyways, what I want to talk to you guys about is that, that, that Chaos Trophy... For right now, they say it's all by itself. You can only buy that with the Dark Edition. But I'm going to say, later on, you could get that trophy solo by itself or maybe with other trophies or whatever the case may be because that would be wrong for them just to say, if you want to get the full content of the Skylander Superchargers game, you have to buy the Dark Edition. You have to buy it. That's wrong, and I don't think a whole lot of people buy the Dark Edition. The hardcore collectors do. Uh, the people that want to play Chaos are off the bat will. But me, I'm holding out, man. I'm holding out for them to do a separate or maybe a triple pack somehow. And the reason why I say triple pack is because, if you didn't know, there was a Gilgrunt, Gilgrunt's vehicle, and a Golden Queen trophy. If you haven't seen it, like I said, go watch the other channels. Um, it's a triple pack. So that leads me to believe. And also Golden Queen, so I'm guessing you could ride in her vehicle and maybe a racetrack or it's going to unlock a racetrack or something. But for right now, people are saying that those trophies unlock that that villain and their vehicle and maybe a racetrack or something. I don't know. But uh, definitely excited about that because if that's the case, then maybe those are the characters on the side of the box in the middle columns, those 10, uh, I believe it's 10, uh, pictures that we really can't see. Are those the... Uh, the villains with their vehicles, you know? You got the characters and the vehicles on the outside, but in the middle columns, you got the the two the two uh, columns with the uh, characters you really can't tell what it is, but I think it's the villain and their vehicles. Even though we won't get them as actual toys, maybe we will, maybe we won't. I don't know, it's so confusing right now. I don't, I don't know, because that wouldn't, that wouldn't make sense, because why would they have them shown? I don't know. Regardless, you get those trophies, you get to play as the villain in their vehicle. So. That's awesome, I think, right? So you might be able to get a Wolfgang, uh, uh, a Pepper Jack. I would love to see a <laughs> riding down in a hot chili pepper, cruising down the road, if you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, let's move on to the next thing. All right. What did we get? Also news. We got Eons Elite. Eons Elite. You guys love Eons Elite. Do I? No. But I will tell you this. They've already done Eruptor, so we can knock him out the boat. He's done. I don't think they're going to bring him back for the Series 2 Eons Elite. <laughs> and who are we getting? We're getting the Slam Bam. We're getting the uh, the voodoo. We're getting the dino ring. We're getting a couple. But anyways, the point I want to say is they haven't announced the fire Eons Elite. This will probably be the only Eons Elite I buy just because it's part of fire. And you all know my fire is my favorite element. So this leads me to believe if they're doing old school characters, then we have a chance for Sunburn. Yes, Sunburn's not that great. Doesn't have crazy moves. He's got a teleportation move and he blows out fire. That's pretty much it. But the fact that we get an upgraded sunburn because supposedly these Eons Elites have different upgrade paths at the very end or something. So that will be awesome to see a new sunburn maxed out some crazy damage and uh, to have a beautiful display case. And if not sunburn, maybe Flame Slinger. They were both Series 1. I mean, they were both uh, Spyro's Adventure. So who knows? At least one of those two. Please don't let it be... I don't know. Who else is on fire? Um, don't let it be Igniter. Oh, please don't let it be Igniter. Um... Anyways, so please, 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 sunburn. I want sunburn. We don't know if, I don't know if there's going to be a fire yet. 
I think there's only 60 on Elite for Series 2. Am I right on that? Am I not? Leave the comments down below. I think there's going to be only series, There's only going to be six new Eons Elite. So hope the fire is going to be coming in. All right. Now we're going to get on to the new characters. And like I said, I'm not putting the pictures up just for the fact of if just in case they say, hey, we're not supposed to have that. We're not supposed to have that. But you guys already seen it. I'll tell you guys the names and everything. Here we go. But before I do these two names, I just want to mention there's two things that I've always thought about in my mind that um, I just want to share with you guys. All right, here we go. The first one is, first one is, do you guys know who Super Shot Stealth Elf is? And what about Sure Shot Shroom Boom? I know not that big of a deal. It kind of bothers me, though. It feels like they're just, those names sound too much similar. Big deal, right? I don't know. Super Shot, no. Sure Shot Shroom Boom. No. Super Shot Stealth Elf and Sure Shot Shroom Boom. I don't know. They just seem whatever. That's just one thing I want to point out. What do you guys think about that? Is that weird? I mean, if names mean something to you, that just kind of, whatever, moving on. Here we go, something you might not know. Uh, there's a character coming out named Splat. Splat is pink and yellow. Well, I didn't get the game, The I didn't get that new game that everyone's playing on the Wii. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? What's the name called? What's the What's the one that has like paint everywhere? Is it Splat, 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 Splatoon? Is that right? Weird. I don't know. That's weird. And what colors are on the game? Isn't it like pink or purple or something like that? Yellow, green? I don't know. Right? That's weird to me. So, that is weird that they're coming out with Wii. A Wii game came out. They already have the Nintendo Wii U versions. And uh, they have Amiibos and all that stuff. So, it kind of weird. They're kind of mixing. Kind of. Maybe that was inspiration for that character. And her name is Splat. Splat. Splatoon. Pink. Uh, what's what's her vehicle's name? Splatter Splasher. Does that is anything that mixing together? Even though it's not an amiibo, it's still you get the point. All right, moving on. I just want to point those out before I talk about the new character. All right, now you know we have some returning characters. You guys already seen the Pop Fizz, which I think Pop Fizz is enough. Pop Fizz, come on now. Even though I'm not a Spyros fan. I'm not a huge Spyro fan, but this is funny that the very first time they're not bringing back Spyro in a new game. The last last trap team, I believe that was it Sprite. Was it was the baby Spyro's name? I forget. But um, yeah. So I think that's weird that you know every game they've had Spyro, this game they're not having a Spyro. Weird. They they decided to go ahead and bring out Pop Fizz. Like we don't have enough Pop Fizzes already. But we'll reimagine them. He'll have a big old trumpet tuba, whatever it's called. P Diddy went ahead and said a video about what it actually is. I'm guessing blowing out bubbles out of that thing. And the fact that he's still blue. Can we have a variant color? Maybe like a white version or a... Uh, I don't, we've had a red version. Why not have a different color? You know, or a pink one. You've had a pink Pop Fizz. I mean, who at Activision loves Pop Fizz? It must be the same guy that loves Gilgrunt. Ha! <laughs> Anyways, so we're getting another Pop Fizz. No Spyro. So all you Spyro fans, sorry, you ain't getting it this year. And that's just what happens. All right, as far as the new characters and vehicles and all that stuff goes, we still need to see Trigger Happy's vehicle. We still haven't seen it. We still need to see the Earth guy and his new vehicle, the new Supercharger character, because we already know Terrafin is the returning one. And as far as tech goes, we've seen a blurry little picture of the, uh, I want to say his name is High Volt, I think. We haven't seen the vehicle, but, um, you know, the actor was holding it up. And uh, But I didn't want to place him in there because I didn't know, I don't know, I just didn't want to place him in there yet. But you guys seen the picture, and there you go on that one. All right. I'm gonna say it again. If you have, I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna say it again. If you haven't seen it, go watch the Family Gamer TV, the Skylander Dad. Um, I put up a, a video before this one of all these characters I'm gonna talk about, but I'm not showing a picture of it for reasons. Um, but basically, the names are for for lights. We got Astro Blast, Sunrunner. For uh, fire, we got Burn Cycle, Lava, Lance, Eruptor. Which I guess he has a lance now. Eruptor, oh my gosh, I, I have an issue with that character. Even my daughter was screaming at me. Why are you playing this character? He's not good. He doesn't do no damage. Oh my gosh, whoever loves you, whoever loves Eruptor, thumbs up to you, man. That's all you. You can have Eruptor. When we go online, you can play Eruptor all day long. Matter of fact, come beat me online. I'll... What online? I don't even know what I'm talking about. Oh. What online? Okay, we got Buzzwing. We got Thrillipede for the life. The life. Epic looking character so far. Stealth Stinger is a. Uh, is uh, the helicopter for Stealth Elf. Pretty cool name. Splatter Splasher for uh, Splat. Pretty cool. These vehicles look crazy. I, I'm glad to have... Oh my god, I'm so happy to have vehicles because I can relate to vehicles, boats, planes, automobiles, rather than traps. 
I've already talked about this, but traps. <laughs> what? Everyone as a kid played with toys. Everyone likes cars. You can, your kids can even play with these outside. Like you can't play with traps. You can't play with traps. You can play with vehicles. Just don't put them in the water. Might be a problem. And don't be throwing the planes off of roofs. Anyways, who else? We got Big Bubble Pop Fizz talked about that, and Soda Skinner is his uh, his vehicle. So um, there you guys go on the new characters that are coming out. So all this stuff in one week, it is absolutely crazy. All right. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoy. Wait, what? That's not it. But am I missing something? Was there something that? Oh, I mean, I miss it. Oh, you mean I'm missing something that I was talking about for two years? Even though I've been on YouTube for about a year and a half, year and a quarter, and I've been talking about this certain situation even before I played the game with my nephew and my family and my friends? You mean, you're not talking about, you are talking, the O, the N, on on online? Play with you, I'm not gonna show the picture either, but there's a picture of it. It says, Play online with your friends in races and co-op modes. Take it in. Breathe in real quick. Now breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe in. You still here? You didn't faint? All right. Yeah. You can play with your friends online. Play with your friends online? I've been talking about one of my very first videos from a year ago. We need online. I'm outside yelling. No PvP, no battle mode. I'm saying bad words, I'm cussing, I'm being very bad and naughty. I'm outside on the street talking about Asian Guy Gamer says now there's no online. P. Diddy says there was online, but that, um, that they took it down at GameStop. Asian Guy Gamer is just confirming that they took that actual website down. Um, you know, so um, hope he knows now there's some online and. Uh, I'm pretty sure he does. He's on top of his game. Shout out to you, Asian Guy Gamer, P. Diddy. Uh, who else was saying that? I guess Rye Rock was talking about it. Um, but anyways, yeah, so we're all on top of this online thing, okay? So I was going to make a separate video, some crazy, like, funny thing about being online, but I ain't got time. I got to go to work and do stuff. So anyways, I just want to tell you guys now that online is here, and hopefully it's to stay. But I don't know. I don't, they didn't say anything about modes. I don't know about battle modes, but ba -ba 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 battle modes. Um, but definitely online races and co-op so that being said um, now I have a decision to make so now I have a decision to make I told my wifey I told my friends if this is online I'm getting a ps4 I don't have a ps4 why do I want a ps4 because the better graphics the better resolution right the better better resolution but everything all around better and plus it's a new gen and it's time to upgrade. I've had that PS3 for days, for years, and uh, it's time to upgrade. But here's the problem I have with this. There's two reasons why I would stay PS3, mainly two. One, obviously the price. Right now, online for PS3 is free. It's not that big of a deal. I don't know how much it is online for a year for PS4, or I, I know Xbox is like 50 something dollars. I don't know how much, I'm guessing, it's, I heard it's a little bit less than Xbox, so what, 40, 30 bucks online? It's not that big of a deal. But I'm just saying, these are things you gotta wager in, right? Um, plus, I have to buy the PS4, you know, so that's like 300 bucks, 300 something. I don't know what it's gonna be. And uh, I, I said in my last video, I was gonna talk about bundle packs. I called them. I thought there was a bundle pack, and I'll get into that why I thought there was. Bundle pack meaning you buy the PS4, then you get the Skylanders charge, supercharges all the game, and it'd be a big old huge Christmas present, right? I'll get to that in a minute. But so there's the dilemma. I gotta buy the PS4. That's 200. So you're looking around four, four, almost 500 bucks for everything. You're looking online, the, the system, and maybe the game, obviously everything with it that's, that's half a grand right there or I could oh and I'll, the other the other main reason is how many people out there I want you to put the comments down below I want to know this because what happens when online hits all you guys commenting let me know your gamer tags on the on the system I get and we will play with each other headset recording all that stuff it's gonna be it's gonna make the YouTube channel I think a lot more enjoyable I will do gameplay with people online and you guys can watch it and watch how we interact with each other and play. So that's going to be awesome fun. That's what I've always wanted to do. Uh, friends, uh, fans, whatever it is, we're going to be playing online with each other. You may not like to have your face shown on TV, but you can at least have your voice, you know, chatting up on here and whatever. So definitely going to let me know what your gaming tags are. Anyways, the other point is, how many of you have PS4? 
not a whole lot of people do because of the price and your PS3 works just fine and compared to PS3 versus PS4 games there's not that many good PS4 games compared to PS3 that's out right now so that's the main one of the main issues right friends money that's the PS4 problem PS3 I could play for free online as of right now and most of you guys have a PS3. Some of you guys are like, no, I got an Xbox. I got an Xbox 360 over here. No, I just got a Wii. I just got a Wii. No, I just got a Wii. I'm just saying, a lot of people have PS3. So, or they have all systems. But anyways, that's the thing I'm talking about. Play for free and play with a lot of people, or pay lots of money and play with a little bit of people. That's my problem. Now, talking about the, uh, the uh, bundle packs, before I get out of here, because you guys are like, before I talk about the bundle packs, I'm going to show a picture right here. Boom! Look at this. What? you got to be kidding me. This is a giveaway, I guess, the Skylanders game is doing. Um, I guess you could do it on Instagram or something, but look at the art. I would love... I don't have an Xbox One. I don't have an Xbox... I have an Xbox 360, but I'm, all, I'm a PlayStation boy. You know what I'm saying? But this is crazy, this art on this thing. So I was thinking, oh, they got to have bundle packs. It's going to look like it's going to have art on it and everything. I called them, and no, uh, I was disappointed. GameStop, GameStop said, no, they're coming out the Destiny bundle pack. They're not coming out the Supercharger's bundle pack. So take your little butt outside and go cry somewhere else. So anyways, that's what I was hoping for. And uh, I wasn't, we're not, we're not, we're not getting a Skylander Supercharger's bundle pack as of, I, as of right now that I know of because I just called them yesterday and they said no. But um, which was what was funny about the situation, though, this whole orange background and the Supercharger and everything. I'm getting back into gaming, if you didn't know, like playing consoles. I'm not really putting them on this channel, but I went and got me some games at a flea market. <laughs> um, and I went and, you know, try to get some cheap games and play them all the way through. I talked about this already. But what I was when I was there, I was thinking, you know what would be cool? One of my favorite games on Super Nintendo back in the day, I, used to, I actually bought it in Japan, was a, a Samurai Showdown on Super Nintendo. Samurai Showdown. So what I was going to do for myself was just get a Super Nintendo, have someone airbrush it, all orange and have the actual figure, one of my favorite figures on there, painted on there, of, of a samurai. He's like an actor, I forget his name. Um, he's got a long scythe and he's got makeup on. He looks crazy, right? Yeah, I was gonna have him painted on the Super Nintendo. I was gonna have like, that was my little collection, right? And then I wake up and I get a, <laughs> bam, here you go, Instagram, right here. Xbox giving away an orange, beautiful, custom Xbox One. So it's just kinda all like, it's weird that it's the same week they come out the an orange, customized, um, console. So I just thought it was kind of weird. Anyways, um, flea market won $80, $80 for the uh, Super Nintendo. So I was like, uh, no thanks. Anyways, everybody, that's it, man. We got the new characters. We got the, uh, the Xbox One. They're giving away that stuff. Um, and what do we got? I mean, online. That's that. And I'm going to leave off with this before I go. You're marketing people. If you're watching this, anybody from Activision, because, you know, whatever. If you're watching me right now, I want to ask you something. Can I, can you marketing person come send me a message or something? I, I don't know nothing about, I don't know too much, but I know something about this. If online is confirmed by 100% by supposed to be all the other YouTubers saying it is, if it's online, how in the heck is that not one of your selling points? I guess the chaos trophy is more important than having online. Online. They might be 50 50 actually because chaos is part of the main. Anyways. Can your marketing person please text me? Please call me because all these Comic Cons, all these uh, E3s, and nobody said anything about online co-op modes. Nobody. This game is about friends playing with your friends. You're not even talking about that. You're not saying, oh, by the way, just might want to know. You can actually play online because it says in a little tiny square on the, a little tiny circle on the end of the box. Well, you, if I was you, I'd flip that bad boy around and put online on the front. Play with your friends across the world. Uh, play with anywhere in the world. Because I don't know if you know this, but a lot of people's friends don't live right next door to them. They don't even live across the street. They live in a different town. You know how long it takes for friends to get to a different town? Because mommy and daddy has to put them in the car and take them over. It takes about 20 minutes to get there, 20 minutes back, 20 minutes to play. You're already down about two hours. Does that even add up? No, it doesn't. But you know what I'm saying? You're marketing... 
I, the reason why I'm thinking their the marketing is not so around the online is that then because I don't think they have server. I don't think they have. I think they're a little worried and a little scared. How is this all connectivity going to work? Are their servers able to hang? Because I tell you what, if Skyliners as big as they say they are and everyone gets online at once, their servers are probably going to crash. So probably for a week or two, we're going to have some major connectivity issues. So get ready for that. I'm sounding way too smart for my britches right now. Hello.